Hello Excel Champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to add an automatic invoice number to uh, to, uh, to an invoice. So here here's an uh, invoice template uh, that we've been building already for, for a few videos. Um, and we're going to add an invoice number which is going to be automatic, which means that each time you make a new invoice, it's going to... Um, uh, the number is going to adapt, so you're going to have invoice number three, four, five. Uh, each time it's going to increase. This way you don't even have to worry about the invoice number. So, uh, as usual, I will give you the final file with all the formulas, everything set up. Uh, you can download the template right below the video. There's a link for you so you can access it and see how I build it. So, um, so what we're going to do, we're going to add the invoice number. Um, and to be able to add this invoice number, we must uh, make an archive. We must actually archive the whole list of invoices. So uh, we must have the whole list. Uh, so what are we going to archive? We're going to put the in, uh, invoice number. customer and total amount so I'm going to make it simple uh, so it's easier to to, sh to show you basically we could uh, um, we could archive everything so uh, what we need we need to put some dummy uh, data first um, and so now how do I know my invoice number Uh, basically, I'm going to do a VLOOKUP and what am I going to do to, to look up? I'm going to look up the, an infinite number, so I'm going to put a huge number into a table, uh, into my, archi my archive array. Actually, I can look it up just in here. Uh, I want the first value and here I want an approximate match. So it's going to return the uh, the last value, and I'm going to add one. So that's a bit of a tricky use of VLOOKUP, is that we look for uh, for an infinite value. So basically, it's never going to match. We're never going to find it. So if we make an approximate match, um, Excel is going to return the last value in the table. So here, I just want to test it, invoice number. If I had one, now if I archive invoice number one, it's going to give me invoice number two. So that's good for the invoice number. And now I want something that's going to archive automatically all my um, all my info. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a macro button here. So I'm going to put developer insert form. I'm going to put a button which is going to be uh, archive uh, archive invoice. I'm going to make a new. Um, and how should I write this macro? I should write uh, line backup. So that's going to be the line where uh, the row where we should back up the files and it should be uh, how do I compute it is sheets sheets archive um, I take the range a1 I go to the bottom and Excel down. So this means uh, that I go into A1 and I, it's exactly the same in VBA as if I did control and uh, down arrow like this. So it sends me to the last, last value uh, in the table. So, uh, and I'm going to take the row of that. So in that case, it would be four and I'm going to take plus one. Uh, 
um, so I have to use to use double quotes here. Um, so that's the line where I should back up, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that uh, sheets. In A and line back up I'm gonna put a sheets uh, invoice So I need the invoice number, which is going to be in F8. F8. The value. First thing. And I have three things to back up. Um, Then in my cave, I want the customer and the total amount. So the customer is going to be F5 and then H20. So it's going to be F5 uh, What did I say? I already forgot. Um, F5 H20 H20 here it's gonna be B and C okay so let's try this macro right now um, to see if it works so if I do this and I archive the uh, macro what did it do it um, yeah, it added the macro here, and if I do it again, it you see it increases the uh, the invoice number each time because it backs up all the data here. So of course you could make a full archive of everything. I just did um, I just did uh, three information, three pieces: uh, invoice number, customer, and the total amount. Of course you could add all the info. And you see that uh, if I change the uh, um, if, I, if I add some more uh, some more information, it archives the correct information in my database. So I'm just going to re to edit the text for that. I'm going to put archive. Voice like this, and um, and that's it. We have our oops, I'm gonna move this somewhere. Move here. Um, we have our automatic invoice number. Each time that you archive the invoice, it's gonna make a new one with uh, an automatic. It's going to improve to um, to update the invoice number. You just have to delete it to put a new um, a new invoice. So as usual, you can download the file below. There's a link so you can access the template and reuse it. And I will see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you'll be notified as soon as I publish. See you tomorrow, guys. Ciao.